the Toledo Rockets, despite cool temps right here in the Glass City, playing on. UT entering the weekend in fifth place in the Mid-American Conference, hosting Kent State. Golden Flash is in fourth. That's important because the top four teams in the MAC make the conference tournament next month. Rockets took two yesterday from the Golden Flashes, looking to make it three of four for the series. Top the third, Rockets down. Man on for Mike McNamara. Clobbers won over the 370 foot sign and left a two run homer. Toledo trailing 3 0. Go to the sixth inning. Now a 4 2 game. Man in scoring position for Jaron Williams. UT's leadoff man delivers the base hit. Plating Trey Wright. Williams 3 for 5 on the afternoon. Later in the sixth. Wind starting to pick up. Williams is on second for Scott Makowitz and he serves it into right center. Williams, no problems scoring, and we are tied at four runs apiece. Seventh inning now. Nikki Winterstein pinch hitting, waits on the curve and bloops it into right. Garrett Pike unties the game, and that's how it finishes. 5-4 the final. Rockets come from behind for their victory. They're now in third place in the MAC as Cal McInish working four innings in relief for the win. Brent Balbinot caught up with the pitcher from Columbus on what was on what was working for him today and this weekend against a potent Kent State batting order. You know, going out there, coaches really prepare us to throw strikes and battle against any team out there. And uh, he puts it in our mind that we can go out there at any time and beat anybody. And I think that's what we did today. Kent State entered this weekend the best hitting team in the MAC, 292 the batting average. They have a good approach, and it's not just one or two guys, it's one through nine. What's that mean for you on the mound, how you attack each individual hitter? Uh, I feel like our scouting report was really good this week on these guys. Uh, coaches did a good job on that, and I think we did a really good job executing that on the mound. That's pretty, pretty high for me. I think the most I've ever gotten, that's the most I've gotten since high school, I would say. I'm usually a one to two inning guy, and today I just kept me out there which was nice i would just say my fastball my elevated fastball helped me out today and coach called a lot so helped out and helping out brent balbin out on the call with scoop miller they break down the big weekend for ut on easter sunday afternoon at the ballpark and both toledo and kent state served up a feast here this afternoon but when it was finally said and done the rockets get the win and with it three games to one the weekend series. Welcome everybody, Brent Balbinot alongside Scoop Miller. Scoop, it started on the mound this afternoon. Cam Sinski goes five innings of solid ball. Cal McInnich comes out of the pen to throw the final four shutout innings and the Rockets definitely earned this one. They really did. That duel was tremendous. And how about McInnich coming in there first and second, a 3-1 count. He's able to pitch four scoreless innings and the Rockets come be from behind three straight times to pull out a 5-4 five thr five, thriller here this afternoon. At the plate, Garrett Pike, the freshman, former Anthony Wayne prep product, continues to swing a hot bat. Four for five with the run scored, and he is really showing why he has a scholarship. No doubt about it. He's seen the baseball so well. You know, four big hits here this afternoon, ten in the series, but uh, he was monstrous. They needed every one of those as uh, Toledo pulls out three one run victories here at Scott Park. Five to four, the final score here this afternoon. And with it, the Rockets one game above 500 in the conference standings and sole possession of third place in the MAC.